there, my name is Dr. Carly Axford and I wanted to do a video for you today about creating certainty as a healing practitioner. So this video is for the healing practitioners or the people out there that want to be a healing practitioner. So if that's you and you feel like all I want to do is make a difference in the world and I want to help people heal, people that are suffering, that might have pain or lack of energy or aren't doing well in life then definitely listen because that's what I do in my world is I help train um, just normal people that want to become healing practitioners and I want to share today about creating certainty as a practitioner because that's enormous it's really important to know that to be a successful practitioner you need to be certain about what you do and I know for myself in the years and years that I was in private practice that I helped many, many people heal, it was because of my belief about healing and my belief about what's possible. And so if you're on, um, if you're watching this now, like it'd be really interesting for you just to look in and look at, and look at your belief. Like, do you believe the body can heal? And so um, I'd love to, you know, for you to write in the comments below as well. Like, you know, what do you believe about healing? Like, do you believe that your body can heal? And the reason that I'm asking you that is because your beliefs flow on to what your clients are going to feel around you. When they come to see you as a healing practitioner or a spinal flow practitioner, they know the belief that you hold around healing. So I do recommend to my students and my spinal flow practitioners is let's grow your belief and your congruency about what's possible for healing. And so please know that whatever you believe and you feel comes through. So for me, I have a massive certainty about healing. I know the body can heal. I know that my body can heal. And how you check your own certainty is have a look at what you do. Have a look at what you do in your life. You know, when you're sick or when your children are sick, what do you do? Do you believe that the body's broken? Do you believe that you need to do something or find something externally to help the body heal? Or do you realize that, hey, maybe the body's run down. Maybe the body's talking to you. Same thing when your body's in pain. Like, do you believe that you need to have something external to remove that pain? Or do you believe that, okay, What's happening in my life right now? What do I need to look at? Why is my body speaking to me? So when you start to look at your own reactions to your own body's healing response, it gives you a gauge around your belief about health and healing. So I know for myself as a practitioner, what I tell my, well, I told my clients because I'm not in practice anymore, what I told my clients and what I recommended for them and their children was no different to what I do for myself, for my own healing, but also for my children as well. It was exactly the same. So how you do one thing is how you do everything. So please look at your own, for you to be certain as a practitioner, for you to help lots of people, you wanna have a very big belief that healing can happen. And if you haven't got that right now, you wanna immerse yourself with lots of healing, lots of healers around you and to really look into the incredible ability for the body to heal. The body's incredible, it's amazing. Healing happens all the time. For myself and my practitioners and the students that study under me with the spinal flow technique, you know, we have Zoom calls twice a week and my students and my practitioners share the successes they have. You know, people that they worked on that had less pain, no pain, more energy, felt better, slept more, different, you know, diagnoses and diseases that started to disappear as well. And by sharing that each week or twice a week with each other, we're growing our level of certainty of what's possible. So that's one way that you can grow, you can grow certainty is being around healers and healing practitioners that are doing the work, that are sharing their success all the time. For myself, from when I went to uni until now, I've only worked in the healing world. That's the only thing I've ever done in my life. I've only helped people heal. So that's all I know. All I know is that the body is incredible, that healing happens, that as we remove layers and blockages come off, more and more healing is present in the body. So because that's all I've seen, my level of certainty is quite enormous. When I And this is for you as healing practitioners to grow 
for yourself. So when you look at the body, when you look at your clients' bodies, what do you see? Do you see, oh, they're broken or they're stuck or they're inflamed or they're blocked? Or do you see the enormous potential for healing to happen? For me, that's the only thing I see. I see that, oh, their body's incredible. So right now there might be wave or there might be energy from here to here, but we're going to grow that. It's going to increase and more and more healing is going to flood into their body. The blockages are going to decrease so their body can heal. When I look at somebody, all I see them as a healing machine. And I see the life that's been stored, the stressors and the blockages. So I get there's interference there. But when I'm working with their body, I know that their body's got what it takes to heal. There's such a level of certainty that when my clients came to me, I would have a look and see what's going on. I'd report to them what I found. As I was doing the healing session, I let them know what I noticed, what was changing and what they could expect. And so for you guys out there as a healing as healing practitioners, are you doing that? Do you have a level of confidence when someone comes in, you can actually see what's happening in their life. You can do an assessment and see what you find. You can communicate what's going on. You know that every contact you make or whatever modality that you're using, that change is happening all the time and you can monitor it, you can track it, you can report it back and you can hold your people's hand on their journey of healing because healing is like that, up and down and up and down. So as practitioners, we want to hold the space for our clients to know that you know what? Your body's amazing. Healing's going to happen. And there might be ups, there might be downs, ups and downs, but as long as we're moving towards greater healing, that's what we're doing. And I can show you that by doing assessments and monitoring the body. That's the level of certainty that we must hold as practitioners. I'm here to inspire you, to teach you, to coach you, to work with you as healing practitioners or those that want to become practitioners to let's level this up let's communicate more to our clients let's help more people heal because you know what people are suffering and people need to go and see you and get help and the only way they're going to stay and get help for the results they need is if you can grow your certainty so you can hold the space for them for their healing to happen please 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 as practitioners your job is never done always more learning more growth more certainty really and today's video is all about looking at your own beliefs look at your own beliefs about healing and get really congruent on them really look at do you believe the body can heal do you leave do you believe that your clients bodies can heal do you believe that your children's bodies can heal what do you actually believe about healing question yourself and when you're really clear and you're really congruent about that bring the people in so you can see them and make a difference and help them because they will feel that your clients already can feel they feel when you believe something they feel when you're not certain so i'm here to help you get certain i speak to my spinal flow and practitioners about secrets that I've learned around along the way. So I've been doing this forever. I've been helping people heal my whole life. And some of the secrets that I've learned were that the more certainty I had, the better, quicker results that happened. There was, I don't know if you want to call it energy or belief or whatever that is, but the more certain the more certain I am when I approach the body the more that person can feel it and healing happens. It's like they go into this trust and surrender of, you know what, this person knows what she's doing, she's confident, she's certain, I'm here and I'm ready for my body to heal. So um, that's your tip today, practitioners or those of you that wanna be practitioners is to practice your level of certainty. Question your beliefs, get congruent on that and grow certainty for yourself but the main reason for me sharing this video is that people need your help and I'm here to help you be the best version of you and we're going to start by growing your level of certainty.